Good morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. And if you can't tell that, it's Harry Potter. Yay! I'm giving Eve belly rubs, that's why I'm laying like this. What time is it, roughly? Like 6 um, 10? 6 15? AM? Yes. We haven't been up this early in a long no. time. No. All right, so why are we up this early? We're up this early, and we have Harry Potter on in the Sorcerer's Stone because our friends Megan and Katie, who are two of Swish and Flick, are fundraising for American Cancer Society for Wine and Dine? Yeah. I think it's for yeah, the, the Wine and Dine race this November. Or is it November? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so they're doing a cool, they have a Harry Potter podcast, but they are doing a cool thing where they're going to watch every single Harry Potter movie today from 6 a.m. until 2 a.m. They're going to do cool games, they're going to live stream, they're doing all these things to fundraise money during that process. So we told them that we would get up and like support them and also do that at the same time because it's fun, because like, we haven't done something like that in a long time. So at 6 a.m. we're starting Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I do have something to do with work really quick. I am going to go on a run later. Sarah is going to edit the vlog still, but we're going to do it all day while watching Harry Potter. We've disturbed her way too early today. She's like, if you're going to make me be awake this early, you better rub my belly on this couch. This blanket is the bane of my existence. At all this vlog. Look at how tall Sarah looks with this blanket. This blanket. I have both blankets right now. Yeah, I don't have any, but I'm about to go get me a good one. Because it is chilly. She's so tired. She's snoring. And she's also using it as a pillow. I don't even know. The last clip that we took, I was probably asleep in it, but I'm awake now. We have Prisoner Vask Ban on, and I have some chips and onion dip that I'm eating on. I'm all red because I was crying because I had my sister send me clips of my parents' vow renewal at um, Seabreeze Point and Crescent Lake at the boardwalk. Um, and oh my gosh, it just struck me so emotional hearing my dad's voice. She actually sent me some clips that I'm gonna put in here. I just thought it would be cool if you guys could see actual footage of that. That's like one of my favorite Disney memories ever. My dad, if you don't know the story, we were just on vacation. My mom thought we were going to a nice dinner. And when we got to the boardwalk, all of her um, sisters and my grandma, actually both my grandmas, my mom and my dad's side, and some of my cousins were all there and my dad surprised her with a vow renewal and it was incredible so i'm so happy that i could share that with you guys but oh my gosh it was a lot it was a lot i thought i paused these people from speaking guys i finally set up i mean i'm saying that dramatically i set up my world marathon challenge 
ECS page, I mean, which was really just adding a few 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 photos. <laughs> of, of, I can't speak. It's a weird day. Um, a few photos and the ACS YouTube video we made when we went there and interviewed two of the workers there to a, like to explain what ACS does with the money. And I added a little bio and I tweeted famous people asking for donations. And Sarah's editing the vlog. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <gasps> <laughs> no, I am. I Megan and Katie are killing it. This morning they had like $370 in donations on their Wine and Dine page, and it is now 1 p.m. We're just finishing Prisoner of Azkaban, and they are at $1,007. So I truly know that they're going to, um, they're going to finish this because their goal is $1,300. they are going to finish this today. I just know it, but I'm super proud of them. But I'm real excited to actually like start doing work towards our World Marathon Challenge. If you know anybody uh, who are, what are the, what's the word? The fancy term is corporate so, or social responsibility coordinators for corporations around the country. Please have them contact me. My, I think I'm gonna. This is my strategy. I think this is gonna be our goal. It's gonna be a five thousand dollar like goal. Because like if you think about it, like. If we can get 30 companies, organizations, or people to donate $5,000 each, did I say 30? You said 5,000. $5,000 each, but if then we would just need we would need 30 donations of that size to hit our goal. Yeah. Which seems which like $5,000 is a lot of money, but $5,000 at in groups of 30 in a group of 30 is our entire goal, and that seems manageable to do more manageable to. Cause it's not like we're asking one it's person like to donate a hundred thousand dollars. When like we do those little Instagram things when we are only raising a couple hundred dollars, like the little increments really do add up. The so. five, ten, fifteen dollar ones were always like whenever we did something that promoted a five dollar or ten dollar donation, that skyrocketed at our previous fundraising goals. So I think if we go towards like a three or really just a five thousand dollar donation for different companies, local and around the country, that we can really start getting some steam going on donations. So if you are an organization, or you work for an organization, or you have a relative that works for an organization that does philanthropic things or social, um, what's the word I just said? Social responsibility, they have a social responsibility team. Please let them know I'm willing to talk to them, FaceTime, yeah. in person, on the know, phone. Like Things are hard right now, and so like this might be more of a planning time period than an yeah. actual um, like transactional period. But even just starting the conversations is awesome. Look at how blurry Sarah is because this awesome lens. Sarah just booked an Ohana during our family trip. Ohana, June eighteenth. Yes. We're switching up our space because we need to switch up our mindset. Will you hold my milk? Because it's milk and cookies hour. <laughs> you don't even know what, so good. You don't even know what this I'll is. I'll bring her a treat back too. Alright, I got Eve's treats and I got Sarah's treats. Ready, Eve? Wow. She needs someone to break it up for her. Oh, okay. Eve's confused because we're all in the room. The door slightly open, so she doesn't know, like, should I just walk through it? Bye. You can walk, Eve. Go. The door's open, baby. Go. Just walk through it. Go. Oh, bye. Evie. Hey. <laughs> you did it. Evers. Are you okay? Sarah just st stepped on my back, which usually feels great, but my back popped. Peter's back can't crack because of his rods. And just popped in the middle of it. <laughs> I felt it. I was like, what? I'm nervous to move. <laughs> Eve's nervous too. So we are getting dinner started. Peter just put in some cauliflower, just plain, um, with salt and pepper in the oven to bake. Um, and then we are going to put it in for another 10 minutes, half with buffalo sauce and half with this new soy sauce garlicky. I don't know, just a new sauce that Peter got while he was out yesterday. And I am cooking up some fried rice. 
So I am just making a really simple recipe. I have a very small onion and a green pepper just cooking away with pepper and garlic and olive oil. And then we have leftover rice from maybe just two nights ago. Rice gets creepy if you have it in the fridge for too long. Um, so I want to make sure we ate it. So already cooked rice then goes in next. And then the last ingredient is just soy sauce. And then just let it cook until your heart desires. I made us virgin Moscow mules. There's just no alcohol but ginger beer. And um, mine is black, blackberry? Something like that. And Peter's is grapefruit. So this is the teriyaki taco. And then the buffalo version. Look at that delicious looking food. I still have to go to run tonight. Oh, so we have to eat. Wee oui, wee, oui, mezzo me. Do your shot and hopefully sell my stomach before nine because I have to get out at nine to get my run done before curfew. He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be good. But I'm going for a long run and it's already 9.15 at night. So you gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is my setup while Peter's gone. Got Part one of Deathly Hallows on. It's only one more movie after this. And the girls. They Bye just got Bella, dinner. Thanks for hanging out. Check it out. Going on a different route for my run tonight. Greetings from Orlando, Florida. We got Epcot over there. We got Lake Eola. We got Wet n Wild. Rest in peace. We got Milk District. Oranges. Sports. Food. Went a different route. Went closer to downtown tonight. I four is over there, Link Station, and then Colonial and Orange. I mean, it is downtown, but it is the city. It's the skyscrapers. It is no Chicago, though. And I'm sorry, but no city, even if I call it home like I do Orlando now, it's the second home to me. Nothing beats Chicago. Nothing beats that skyline. Whew. I ate dinner, too close to this run. I want to thank Track Shack for promoting virtual runs, whether you're on a treadmill or you're out in the community running out in your neighborhood, but being safe. I'm listening to a podcast right now by the Rambling Runner and they pointed out um, something that I'm very lucky and appreciative of is that becoming a runner, making that my habit and also having becoming a runner, having that being my habit and hobby and way of exercising and becoming healthy, it makes you appreciate it right now because it is an escape for me. It is my hobby. It is my like one of my things that center me and I'm still able to do that right now. Another one's going to the parks. We can't do that right now. Many people who live around the area go to theme parks. They can't do that right now. Can't go golfing if you're a golfer necessarily. Can't do a lot of the things that you're used to. Go hang out at Starbucks or whatever. Um, I can still get out and go on a run. I can still go on a treadmill if I had one and go on a run. I still have my my thing that grounds me. And thank you Trek Trek for reminding me of that. I needed it today. It was a bit of a long day. I was kind of getting in my head and I feel better. And I'm only a little over a couple miles into this 10 mile run tonight, but I gotta put this phone away because I gotta get done before 11 because curfew, you know. So while Peter is running, I am making some cookies. I just kind of feel like making cookies today. Um, I found vegan brown sugar cookies. I'll link the recipe below. I have my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients. And I'm gonna mix them together and then put them on the baking sheet. Okay, here they are. It only made 12, which is fine because it's just the two of us. Um, I did reshape them a couple of times because the dough is a little dry, but I just had a little bit more oil in, um, and they were good, so they go in for 10 minutes. Okay, here's how they turned out. I'm gonna give one a try. Honestly, they're a little blah. I'm someone who likes like a punch of flavor, so I would have put more sugar in or maybe more cinnamon. I'm like a sweet, spicy sour so like they're good but i just wanted a little bit more oomph to them maybe some frosting would 
It would make them just a little bit better. Cream cheese frosting, that would be good. Okay, I'm doing some Harry Potter trivia live with the live stream. This is kind of a hard one. What is the name of the orphanage in which Professor Dumbledore finds Tom Riddle? I made it back two minutes past curfew, so don't tell the Orange County PD. This is arguably one of the, mo the greatest scenes in all of the eight movies with Neville. Message time by Benjamin Franklin. When you're finished changing, you're finished. Time for bed. It's, we did my it. Name is Peter. It's not as lazy as we thought it was. I'd me. like to be a daily vlogger someday. You are a daily vlogger. <laughs> Have we hit 400 posts yet? Videos? Yeah. For sure. Have we hit 800? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. Do you know? <laughs> 365 times. We've Why almost lived. Know? We've almost lived here three years. Can we finally get photos for these frames, please? <laughs> I picked them out, dude. Let's send them to Walgreens. Okay. Photo pickup. Stop it. I'll wait until it's a necessity trip to be safe. Okay. It's good to be home. I it's ran. Okay. I ran a lot, and we sat a lot. And our friends Megan and Katie are so great. They are. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.